and purchase a police department policy consultation contract. As you heard, we uh, mentioned during the uh, budget process that uh, we wanted uh, 30, approximately $30,000 to conduct a department policy review and consultation, which would give us the ability to actually put the policies out electronically and monitor uh, the officers that are training with them and then also for any updates coming up. So I'm requesting the permission to enter the Hampton Police Department into a co contract with the Daigle Law Group LLC of Southington, Connecticut. The purpose of this contract is conducting a policy and procedure development consultation for the Hampton Police Department by the Daigle Law Group. The purchase amount for this contract is not to exceed $30,000. I've determined Daigle Law Group to be a sole source provider as they are the only vendor that, ha that after initial dissemination of policy procedures provides a maintenance option for continuous evaluation of policies and procedures based on appellate and Supreme Court rulings, state statutes, risk management practices, and current law enforcement incidents. I would seek to be placed on, on and that was just the uh, closing line for the be placed on the meeting. So do we have a motion for a police department policy consultation? Just one question. When was the last time we had this done? Do you know? We've never had an outside consultant do this. This has always been an internal practice. But looking at what we need to accomplish to get caught up to where we should be, that would take the deputy chief the better part of 2018 to accomplish that. So for the money we would spend on staff time, I feel this is a better economical option, and it gives us some better options to maintain. Okay. All right. Just a, a couple of quick questions, Chief. Thank you for coming in tonight. Thank you for uh, your leadership on, on this. Uh, t t talk to me about the funding portion of this again. Was this in the budget last year, or is it is it going to be if, if there's any surplus on your budget? No, yeah. this this was put into the budget for going into 2018. As you remember, at the manager's level, uh, trying to pare down the budget, it was cut. Then at the budget committee, uh, Tim Jones uh, made a motion to put it back into the budget. But this is one of these items with a surplus that I think is a priority that I'd rather try to get this off the uh, the checklist now with a surplus, if possible, as opposed to next year, because I want to get started on this project. So it, it, outside of your department, if there's a surplus, is that what you're saying? Is that, is that where this is coming from? Help me out here, Mr. Welch. There should be a surplus in the police department to cover it. Okay. That's why the, we, the chief said subject to available funds. Wonderful. We Thanks. We think that surplus will be there. I'm, I'm clear on that now. Thank you. I have one additional thing in regards to what Mr. Bean said. So if there is not any surplus available in 17, would this be something that you would be wanting to do in 18? Correct. correct. If, we, if it is not available to get done, you know, in the next couple of weeks in 17, then this would remain in the budget for 18 and go before the voters as part of the overall budget. If we were able to execute this, then we would remove that 30000 from the budget moving forward for 18. All right. Great. Thank you. Do we have a second for uh, Mr. Bartle's motion? All in favor? 